practice this morning, how did the car feel out in qualifying? Definitely came alive a bit more. Um, yeah, we it's, it's hard to read obviously just with one practice, but we didn't, we weren't filled with too much confidence coming into quali. Um, so I think to get both cars in Q3, I think that's uh, obviously we're towards obviously the back end of Q3, but I think actually we, you know, we weren't too far off the Ferraris. So after this morning, I think we'll, I don't want to say we'll settle and take that, but yeah, I think we uh, probably did all, all we could in that session. And you expecting to be moving forward and, and looking ahead for the rest of the weekend? That's the intentions. Uh, let's see, obviously we'll, we'll have like the long runs tomorrow in, uh, in second practice. So I think then we'll probably get a better understanding of what our race pace is like. But, uh, but yeah, we're, we're in the mix. I mean, it's, as I said, it's towards the tail end of the top 10, but at least we're, uh, we're starting in a, let's say, points fighting position. And then did you not quite find some more time in the second time around? Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it was very close. I think from Q2, I was doing the same lap time for four consecutive laps. So Q1, run two, run, run one, and Q3, the same thing. So probably that's, that's the limit today. And uh, fortunately, P10 um, on Q3. But uh, let's see, uh, the real qualifying is tomorrow on the sprint race. You've had such strong performances in sprint races this year. Does that give you optimism starting in the top 10? You can have a good day tomorrow? Yeah, I would love to start on the clean side, uh, P9, but uh, yeah, it's, it's what it is. And uh, yeah, I hope we can recover some places for, for Sunday. Might we see you go aggressive again if you can tomorrow? Yes, always.